Hello everyone. In this video, I will try to simulate a current control current source circuit. So basically, I will solve this circuit in piece parts. So uh, you can see that it is exactly like the previous circuit, but the minor difference is uh, it is actually now a current control source. So the current uh, which is controlling this source is nothing but I1. So I1 you can see in this circuit, and this I1 is flowing from node number two to node number one through this eight ohm resistor. So if we if you see the uh, theoretical uh, calculation so you can see that v1 is at uh, 10 volts and i1 is v2 minus 10 divided by 8 which is actually by uh, not voltage v2 minus 10 by 8 uh, and 8 is uh, resistor so you use nodal analysis at number 2 node so you can find that v2 is at 5.56 volts and you use the same nodal analysis on node number 4 and you can find that v4 is 2.22 volts so let's see how to simulate this in piece wise so I have already drawn, drawn the circuit for you. So you can see that this is actually the current control current source uh, uh, diagram in the PSPICE schematic. So you can write here F and you will get this. So at first you should double click on this and change the gain to uh, 0 0.5 as given in the original circuit. So this is actually a current source and you can see from the uh, circuit that the current source's current is flowing from number 3 to number 2 node. So we draw it like this. So you can see the number three node is entering the current, and number two is the inter node in the current source. And the current is controlled from the current source from this this current, the current through R1, which is flowing from number two to number one. So you can see that it is actually flowing to number two, and it is actually going through this node. So this is R1. You can you should be very careful while giving this connection because this is very tricky. If you don't do this uh, correctly, then you will get short circuit, uh, short circuit, or uh, open, uh, sorry, you will get open circuit errors in the circuit. So if we now simulate the circuit, you can see that our we get a voltage as 10 volts here, 5.56 volts here, and 2.22 volts over here. So you can see that our circuit is simulated correctly. If you are really confused about the connections, I will try to show you this again. So let me just remove this. So at first what you do, you just place this over here and at first you give the connection to the actual source. So the actual source is flowing from number 3 to number 2 node like this because you can check my cursor. So number 3 to number 2 and then the current is controlled from the current to this R1 register, right? So how do I give that? So connection. So I can first give that connection. So it is flowing from this node. So you can see that this node and it is entering this node. So this node. Always uh, double check the connections because if you do not do this correctly, you may get you may get a default error like a same node connection. So if you uh, somehow overlap these wires, so you'll get an error. So if you now Okay. So always keep this in mind while giving the circuit connection and you will be okay with the connections. Thank you. Uh, you can try this also at home.